but we are ready for the coming winter with this very nice light poncho. So I think it's really very pretty and amazing to do. We have two stitches patterns, uh, the classical granny stitch and the virus stitch. The virus stitch is always so romantic. I love it. So I, it was amazing for me to create this virus granny mini poncho. I will give you all the instructions so that you can create it with um, any hook size because I will give you all the measures in centimeters. Okay? It's not difficult. Follow me step by step and you will create a poncho like this. Okay? Let's start! For this project I'm using this pure wool worsted weight yarn to be used with a 7 mm crochet hook. You can use any kind of yarn you like and any hook size because I will give you uh, the measures in centimeters. Uh, start uh, with chain 78 and please add 24 additional chains for every uh, smaller hook size. When your foundation chain of 79 is ready, now you have to join it into a ring like that, slip stitching. Okay, and now from here, chain one and single crochet one in each stitch. All the way around totally you have 79 single crochet end of first round 79 single crochet slip stitch to join into the first stitch of this round round 2 chain three one two three skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one repeat one through two three chains skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one repeat chain three skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one repeat this stitch pattern all the way around at the end of this round you have 26 spaces okay at the end of row two you have 26 spaces like that okay now you have to put four stitch markers to identify the two corners of this poncho so the first one will be put here into the first space okay the second into the space number 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 second stitch marker okay 
the third into space number 14 and the last one into space number 26 so that I have identified my two corners the back corners and the front corner and in between I have 11 spaces End of row 2, slip stitch to join into the first stitch of the round, like that. Now, enter with your hook into the space, like that. And now from here, chain 3 and double crochet 4 into this space. three and four into the next space single crochet one and now I have to create two three chains spaces so chain three into the next space single crochet one chain three into the next space single crochet one so the segment to repeat is a shell made of double crochet 5 and 2 chain 3 spaces now again into the next space double crochet 5 2 3 4 and 5 into the next space single crochet 1 and now again I have to create 2 chain 3 spaces chain 3 into the next space single crochet 1 chain 3 into the next space single crochet 1 go ahead with this stitch pattern till you reach the next stitch marker when i reach the next stitch marker i'm going to do double crochet 5 into the space number 13 with the stitch marker three four and five and now into the next space the space number 14 you see I have another stitch marker I have to do in it another double crochet five three four and five now single crochet into the next space and now I go ahead with the usual stitch I have to do two spaces of chain three one and two like I did on the opposite side now again double crochet 5 and so on till I reach the last stitch marker into the last stitch marker of this round again see uh, double crochet 5 1 oh sorry oh my god 1 two three four and five end of row three slip stitch into the chain three of the beginning like that at the end of round three i have this situation first corner back side second corner front side i have two shells nearby one and two and in between i have another two shell with 
chain three spaces as separation. Okay? Round number three. Chain two, which count as first double crochet, into the same stitch another double crochet because now like that I have to do double crochet two in each double crochet of previous round like that so the shell made of double crochet five will become a shell made of double crochet ten like that so two four six eight ten okay so exactly the double now into the next space single crochet one like that chain three and into the next space single crochet one now i have another shell and i will do the same double crochet two in each double crochet of previous round and the shell from five becomes 10 now go ahead like that till you reach the next corner and into the corner of previous round you will do exactly the same also there I show you so you see I have a double shell of 10 double crochet it will become a double shell of 20 double crochet of course when I reach the double shell I have to tr transform it from 10 to 20 so 1 2 3 four five six etc so from 10 to 20 like that at the end of round three you will complete the double shell you see we begin with a half double shell and at the end we are going to complete it with this second half also here just doing double crochet two in each double crochet of previous round so from 10 to 20 like that this way and finally slip stitch to join into the second chain of the beginning like that so the second double shell is completed okay and now round five this is the last round for this stitch pattern because this virus stitch is the repetition of round two three four and five two three four and five okay so we are ready for the last round of this virus stitch now chain two chain three sorry to start the first two chains takes the place of the first double crochet the third one is for separation to the next stitch double crochet one chain one into the next one the same double crochet one chain one into the next one 
double crochet one chain one into the next one double crochet one chain one into the next one the same the same again into the next one double crochet one chain one continue till the last stitch of this shell now into the last one double crochet one that's all okay now single crochet one into the next space now you have to do the same on the next shells of this round double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one in each stitch of previous round and the same on the double shells double crochet one chain one and so on okay now we have to start again the stitch pattern from the beginning from two three four five rounds and our poncho this time will grow so we start with chain three and skip the next chain one space and into the next one single crochet one chain three skip next chain one space into the next one single crochet one chain three Skip next space into the next one single crochet one chain three skip the space into the next one single crochet one chain three skip this space and into the space between the last double crochet and the single crochet insert your hook and single crochet one chain three now into the small space between the first double crochet and the single crochet insert your hook and single crochet one okay and now repeat the same chain three skipped next space into the next one single crochet one chain three skip this space into the next one single crochet one chain three and go ahead like sorry this was wrong skip the space into the next one go ahead like that all the way around end of round six now from here we have to repeat the two shell half at the beginning and the other half at the end of this round so yarn over into the next chain three space sorry insert your hook into the next chain three space and slip stitch like that okay now from here chain two which count as first double crochet and into the same space double crochet for one two three and four finally you get five double crochet and single crochet one into the next space now chain three 
single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space like that and now here in this space it's time to create the next shell made of double crochet five so double crochet five two three four and five single crochet one into the next space okay because now we are going to create the double shell into the big double shell of previous round and the new smaller shell between the two between one shell and the other of previous round okay so from here chain three single crochet one into the next one chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet and now again you see add into the middle between one shell and the other one I going to create the new shell with double crochet five three four five single crochet one so again from here chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet so over each shell i have a single shell i have one two three four spaces and over the double shell I have a new double shell in the middle and one two three space so three spaces only over the double shell and one two three four spaces over the single shell okay now again double crochet five go ahead like that all the way around starting from the half of the first double shell I did one two and three smaller shells now from here you see I'm quite on the top of the other double shell now just doing chain three spaces and single crochet one i'm going to the top of this double shell okay so here after three chain three spaces one two three i am on the top okay this is the perfect half of this double shell so here in these two 
chain three spaces, I have to create the first half and the second half of the new double shell. So, double crochet five into this first chain three space, three, four, and five. And now, the same on the other chain three space double crochet five one two three four five and single crochet into the next space you see i've created the new double shell okay now another three chain three spaces like i did on this first half so chain three single crochet one chain three single crochet one chain three single crochet one okay so the double shell is completed now i can create a new small shell of double crochet five and go ahead with this stitch pattern till the end of this round okay okay i am at the end of round seven i did the last three chain three spaces now i have to complete my double shell with double crochet five one two three four five and slip stitch to join into the first stitch of the beginning like that okay round seven is completed and that's what i have till now okay round eight now it's very easy I have to repeat what I did at round four so in each double crochet I have to do double crochet two so the double crochet two which count as first double crochet into this stitch another double crochet and now double crochet two in each double crochet of previous round so that at the end i have a shell from 5 to 10 like that and 10 from 5 to 10 and single crochet one into the next space now chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space and now again double crochet two in each double crochet of previous round so that i get a shell from five to ten so into the first one double crochet two into one and two three and four five 
five and six okay so turn double crochet also into the shell and now chain three spaces to reach the next shell now go ahead like that just doing double crochet two in each double crochet of the below shell and doing chain three spaces to reach the next shell of course also on the double shell you have to to do uh, double crochet two in each double crochet below so the double shell uh, from uh, 10 to 20 okay all the way around so into the double shell of course I will do double crochet two in each double crochet of previous round so that I have a shell from 10 to 20 okay and then go ahead all the way around like that doing chain three spaces between each shell and the other one and doing double crochet two in each uh, double crochet of previous round round nine i have to repeat exactly what i did at round five so i have to do one double crochet and chain one in each double crochet of previous round double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one so the first chain two counts as double crochet chain one and now into the second one double crochet one chain 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 one and so on okay and then of course from two chain three spaces you will pass to one only you will repeat the same on the shell and the three spaces become two double crochet one chain one on the shell and so on all the way around starting round 14 I will do this round only chain three spaces and from the next round I will change the stitch from virus stitch to granny stitch okay at round 14 I change my hook from seven to six millimeters change yours for one smaller size okay when you have done the chain three spaces also over the uh, double shell on on uh, the front side uh, you have to put the two stitch markers exactly to the top of this uh, shell corresponding of course uh, to the half to the perfect half so from the first stitch you have to count one two three four stitch marker one two three four sorry one two three four stitch marker this is the first one is there and the first one is there okay these are the two spaces for the next 
corner. Then go ahead working with your chain three spaces and when you will do the last chain three space you will put a stitch marker also on it okay okay i i put a stitch marker also into the last chain three space of this round okay now i'm ready for the next one okay in order to start round 15 slip stitch into the first chain three space chain two and into this first space to double crochet chain one and double crochet two in each chain three space okay now i go ahead just doing chain one and double crochet two in each chain three space chain one double crochet two till i reach the next corner on the opposite side where i put the two stitch marker go ahead like that okay and when we reach the two spaces with the stitch marker on the uh, big shell on the opposite side uh, please remove uh, the stitch marker of course so that you can uh, work inside them and now into the first space double crochet three chain one and uh, um, double crochet three into the next space this will be the corner where we'll repeat we will repeat at each round a new corner inside this space okay chain one and now continue with double crochet two in each chain three space till the end of this row where you find the last space with a stitch marker and you complete the second half of um, the corner on the opposite side okay into the last space i did double crochet three chain one and close my round okay now round 16 chain three and now double crochet three in each space between chain one and double crochet three when i reach the corner on the opposite side i will show you how to work go ahead like that okay when you reach the corner you see the corner is where you have two groups of double crochet three and in between chain one you are going to repeat this corner into the chain one space just doing double crochet three chain one and into the same space double crochet three again one two and three you see chain one and now go ahead 
with your normal granny stitch double crochet three chain one double crochet three chain one till we reach the end of this round and we are going to repeat this corner okay we are at the end of round 16 now we can complete the second corner just doing chain one now into this space i'm going to do double crochet three two and three chain one double crochet two into the same space like that and now slip stitch to join into the second chain i did at the beginning like that and my corner is completed okay At round 24 I'm doing just a little change in the stitch pattern doing double crochet 2 instead of 3 like I did into the previous rounds you see at round 24 all the way around like that double crochet two in each space chain one double crochet two into the next space all the way around for round number 24 Okay, at round 20, after round 25, I decide that my poncho is long enough, and so now I'm going to do the final, the final border. Okay, so. I'm taking another color for the final border. Final border is very easy. Chain four and single crochet into the next next space. Chain four, single crochet into the next space. Go ahead like that all the way around. okay next row slip stitch one and two to reach the center of the first space now from here chain two double crochet into the single crochet below chain two single crochet into the space below chain two double crochet into the single crochet of previous round chain two single crochet into the space of previous round so you have to repeat the same all the way around like that you see it's very very easy